How you doing everybody? My name is Dr. Sami Baya. Please welcome back to my YouTube channel. When a Heyoka empath meets a narcissist, what is a Heyoka empath? What is a narcissist? An empath is a person with that incredible ability to feel and absorb the emotions, thoughts, and physical sensations of others. When someone says, I feel you, I feel your pain, that is what empathy is all about. An empath sometimes is referred to as an emotional sponge because they have this innate capacity to sense the emotions and needs of others. Now, what is a Hayoka empath? A Hayoka empath is a very powerful healer, an empath that feels the emotions and energy of others inside their body. The Hayoka empath is the most powerful type of empath. Hayoka empath is a Native American word for a person who is highly sensitive to the emotional and spiritual states of others. And when we, we say Hayokas, it's, it simply differs from the other empaths because of the ability that Hayoka empaths have to experience things in a unique, reversed or backward way and sense energy better. And Hayoka empaths will, will often use humor and satire to help others understand the world differently. So, in short, the Oka empath is a very rare type of empath who is born with a unique set of superpowers. They can sense and feel the emotions of others more deeply than other empaths. And they are also able to interpret these emotions in unique ways. Heoka literally means sacred clown or fool. So, they are known to be highly creative, fearless, and unafraid of speaking their truth even if it goes against social norms. Some traits of the Yoka empaths include unpredictability, chaos, mischievousness, you know, and they use these traits to bring balance and healing to others. Now, what is a narcissist? We know narcissists are selfish, self-centered, egocentric, egotistic individuals. They lack empathy. They are very arrogant. They want to be the center of attention. They need constant attention, constant validation, constant admiration they need to be praised all the time they use others for their own gain narcissist is always about i i me 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 and i alone that's what narcissists are all about they focus on their own needs they are very envious of others and they believe others are envious of them the relationship between a yoke empath and narcissists is a very interesting one First of all, from what we've already discussed, the characteristics of Yoka Empath are that they are great listeners. They are sarcastic and they use humor for healing. Yoka Empaths, they are very compassionate and they have this unconditional love. They are emotionally attached to people who they love. They are daydreamers. They are highly spiritual. They are sensitive and they are passionate. They help others to heal and they are easily vulnerable. On the other hand, Characteristics of narcissists, of, narciss of narcissists is that they're only focused on their own needs. They only think about themselves. They're selfish. They are master manipulators. They need constant validation and constant attention and admiration. They choose empaths because they believe they can manipulate them. So, the big question is this, what happens when a Heoka empath meets a narcissist? We know that the intention of the narcissist is self-centered. And the Heoka empath is very empathetic. They are selfless. They care about others. An empath can sense your feeling. And a narcissist emphasizes on how they feel for a given situation. So, the narcissist can sometimes pretend to be a good empath. But there's always this attraction between a Yoka empath and narcissists because the Yoka empaths want to be there for others and the narcissists want to use others. Remember, the Yoka empath is an emotional mirror. They sense an emotional reaction in you and they use that as a guide of what reflect back to you that will help you most on your journey. 
So when the yoke empath sees the narcissist, they expect the narcissist to love them, just like the way all empaths want to be loved. They are attracted to the narcissist because they feel that the narcissist will love them. They think that they can change the narcissist to love them. They think that they can make this narcissist be able to love, be able to be empathetic. So the, the Hyoka Empath, they will try to heal this narcissist, hoping that once the narcissist is healed, will change. And that they will be able to love the Hyoka Empath. That they'll be able to, to be, to, 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 to be caring to the health empath. So narcissists will take advantage and manipulate the health empath. They will pretend to be kind. They'll give the health empath some attention in form of love bombing. And there'll be a strong bond between the health empath and the narcissist. Now, we know that the other thing about health empaths, we know that they have this humor and sarcasm. And they use this to heal others. Sometimes this will rub the narcissist in the wrong way. So the yoke empath will sometimes sense the narcissist energies. And we know the narcissist is always trying to control others. They are master manipulators. So they will always be trying to, con to control and manipulate the yoke empath. So the yoke empath will notice this. And they will try to call the narcissist out. They will try to change the narcissist. They will try... To silence the narcissist. The yoke empath will try to heal the narcissist. At the beginning, there will be so much attraction between the two. During the love bombing stage. But the big question is this. Do you think a yoke empath can heal a narcissist? I think a yoke empath cannot heal a narcissist. Unless the narcissist goes to a mental health professional. Unless they accept that they need to be healed. The yoke empath might destroy the narcissist. They will destroy the narcissist entitlement, sense of entitlement. They'll remind the narcissist that they don't automatically deserve the best of everything. They'll remind them to be thankful for what they have. They will be able to see the narcissist manipulation tactics and they'll call the narcissist out. They will make sure the narcissist is accountable for their mistakes. Remember the narcissist has a fragile ego. The yoke empath will point it out. They'll confront the narcissist head on. So the relationship between a yoke empath and a narcissist is a tricky one. Hey, we'll continue this discussion in the next in, in another video about the yoke empath versus the narcissist. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned a thing or two, please. Drop your comment in the comment section below. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. God bless you.